Iswara is a combination between my name, Swadi, and a mythological African animal called the Chihuahua. It's an animal that's supposed to have taught humankind agriculture and social values. Um, and really that's what the brand is about, and Swadi means happiness. I started Iswara in December 2012, and uh, the idea of Iswara really came from a desire to contribute to the reversal of the African commodity trap. Uh, how do we transform African commodities locally into high value products which are distributed globally? I've always loved tea and I come from a family where we've always drank really good teas. It was just like a combination of being the right opportunity, uh, but also something I knew and also something that was relevant for the African market. I like different teas for different moments of the day, different moods, uh, but I really don't have a favorite one. 80% of Africans drink tea daily, so there is definitely a tea culture. I think what we're trying to bring is just to make that tea culture evolve. I find rooibos or honeybush or chamomile also is very soothing. I also one that, whew. <laughs> It all starts with the names. Um, before I create a tea, I start with a story, uh, and that story inspires me ingredients and ideas and um, feelings, and I translate all of that. I come from a very diverse background. I've lived in 10 countries around the world, and um, I really see myself as a global citizen. And Iswara also reflects that. Um, it reflects that uh, Pan-African, cosmopolitan uh, aesthetic. I've always wanted to be in Maboneng because it is this place of light, but it's also a place for me that uh, is quite iconic of the new South Africa. What's next for Iswara? Um, just scale, grow, uh, expand into new markets. We are also launching um, a more mass market uh, range to make the tea available to more people uh, and I'm very excited about that.